Hi, good day. This is Teacher Bernard. I will be your teacher in science. Uh, now, we're going to start our lesson uh, for, for the school year, for the new school year 2021. Okay, now, this is the name of our book in science. Okay, you, for sure you have your own student book already. Uh, it's all the same. All that you can see in this video, uh, you will find in your student book. I will ex I will try to explain everything to you, one by one. Okay. Now, this is the front of our book, Inside Out Science. Okay. Now, we're going to study the unit one. Okay. We're going to study unit one. Okay. These are the contents. Unit 1, Characteristics of Living Things. Okay, Characteristics of Living Things. Okay, now, we move on to Chapter 1, Characteristics of Living Things. Now, how can we tell it, if it is alive and not a toy? Okay, how can we tell if a thing is not alive? Or it is a toy, or if it is a toy. Now, we will identify a living thing, tell how a living thing is different from a non living thing. Okay, we will identify the living things and we will tell how a, a living thing differ to a non living thing. Okay, let's move on to. This example. Okay, now, what are living thing? Which is living thing? Okay, we have, we have here a tiger and a stuffed toy. Now, now take your answers. A live tiger. Okay, is bigger than a toy a live tiger is bigger than a toy are we going to take take it yes of course a live tiger is bigger than a toy okay next has softer hair than a toy tiger does the live tiger has a softer hair than a toy tiger of course, the toy tiger has a softer hair, so we will not check that. Okay, next, does it move? A live tiger moves, it runs, it walks, and sometimes it crawls also. Sometimes it swims. Yeah? Okay, next, needs air, water, and food. A live tiger needs air, water, and food for sure. But the toy tiger doesn't need those. Next, will die if it stays in a closed suitcase for too long. Okay, if we put a live tiger in a suitcase, for example, a bag, a big bag for too long, it will die. Yeah? Okay, next. Living things are the things that are alive. Yeah? Okay, again, living things are the things that are alive. The tiger cub is a living thing. The tiger cub is a living thing. Okay, now, these are examples of living things. The children are living things. The trees are living things also. Okay, next. Okay. Next, our world is full of living things. Our world is full of living things. Né? For example, an ant in the soil. This ant is a living thing. Okay, why is it a living thing? It moves né? and it eats. It needs food. Next, or a whale in the sea. This is an orca whale. Né? This is a living thing. Why is it a living thing? It swims. Nah? It grows bigger. 
Okay, next. It can be as tall as a tree. A tree is a living thing. It doesn't move, but it grows tall. Na? It grows tall. It grows bigger. Next. Or as short as grass. Grass is a living thing also because it needs water. Okay, next. What are non-living things? These are examples of non-living things. Car, pen, stone, and many more like and many more like chairs, like bags, like clothing, like this TV. This TV is non-living things, okay? Non-living things are things that doesn't need food, air, or water. Okay? Next. A pen, a stone, a car are non-living things. Okay, now, we will look at this drawing. Na? We have a statue and a boy okay what makes me different from the statue okay what are the difference the boy can move yeah? the boy can move now the statue cannot the boy can read the statue cannot the boy can grow can grow tall but the statue cannot. The boy needs food, air, and water. But the statue cannot. Okay? Okay, now we're finished tackling about the, the living things and non-living things. Okay, now uh, I will ask you to answer this page in your workbook okay this page this page one page one of your workbook characteristics of living things ne? what will you do circle the living things ne? you will circle what are the living things in these pictures okay you will circle okay Okay, after you after you answer your workbook, uh, page one of your workbook, I will ask you to answer this also. Uh, this is a worksheet. Uh, you will cut and paste the pictures to classify the living things and non-living things. You will classify, you will cut and paste. Okay? In this part, you will paste the living things. And in this part, you will paste the non-living things. You need to cut. Cut and paste. Cut and paste. Okay? The things are these. Yeah, you will cut and paste. Okay? Yeah, we have tree, fish, pie, book, snowman, backpack, frog, kid, ball, and plant. You will cut and paste cut and paste living things non-living things i will uh, send a picture together with this video of this worksheet so that uh, you can print it and do it in your house in your home okay bye enjoy answering see you